So Quen Image 2512 is here. This is a new free open source model that you can use to generate images. We're going to be comparing this model versus Nano Banana Pro and ChatGPT to see which one is the best. Now, if you've never used these before, don't worry, I've actually got a bunch of video notes inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments description. If you go to the classroom here, go to December 2025 and you can see a video breakdown plus an extra tutorial on this stuff plus all the resource links for all of the models that we talk about today. All right, so what we're going to do is put these head to head and see which one generates the best images. Now, the thing to note here is that Quen is open source and it's free to use. So even if it doesn't outperform, for example, Banana, it still has a lot of benefits. And we're going to be testing these out on different prompts to see which one performs the best. So here's the first prompt that we're going to test out. By the way, if you're wondering, okay, we're testing live. So we're testing out number one, China's Quen Image 512, which is by Alibaba. This was released literally on December the 31st. It's free. The parameters is ranked number one to see open source image model. It can run on your computer and open source, of course, means no limits. Banana Pro was released in November 2025. It can be expensive. It's built on Gemini Free Pro. You do get up to 4K resolution. It's cloud only and it's not open source, right? So let's test these out. First thing that we're going to do is create a banner we could use for the AI Profit Border. I'm going to plug this in. The other thing to bear in mind here as well is like we want to test for speed as well. So I'm going to plug in this prompt over here. And then for example, if we want to generate like a 16 by nine image, we would just select the drop down here. I'm actually going to give Gemini and ChatGPT the head to start because I know these image models will be slow, but I do want to test for speed as well. So we're going to create images inside here. Typically ChatGPT image update, image 1.5 update that came out recently. That is the slower option. And then you have Google Gemini, Nana Banana, and you can switch between fast and pro when you're generating the images as well. And then we have Quen Chat over here. So let's plug in the Quen Chat and see what we got. Chat GPT is working its magic. A1 says, you're amazing and a beast, Julian. Thank you very much. And then, wait, is this live? Don't tell me. Nah, you haven't got AI, Julian. Don't worry. This is the real McCoy. So you can see here, we are generating the image here. This is the one from Chat GPT. Pretty basic, but it does the job. Then we'll have a look at Gemini. Gemini does not a bad banner. Let's have a look at this one. This one just, is it lower resolution or something like that? Look at that, board Rome, AI Profit board Rome. So if we have a look at these images and we look at the first test, which is this one, test number one, you can get all the prompts from today inside the AI Success Lab completely free. So if we have a look at this, which one performed the best? Gwen came third. Which one do I prefer out of Nano Banana and ChatGPT? I would actually go with, I just prefer the style and the branding inside the image. Actually, do you know what? I think this one looks better full screen. Yeah, I'm going to go with ChatGPT image one equals first and then Nano Banana equals second, which actually surprised me. I thought Nano Banana would absolutely crush this test. But as you can see, we're getting good results here. Mohan says, wish you all happy new year. Happy new year to you too. Happy new year to everyone who's watched and thanks for being on this journey this year. It's been fantastic. So we're going to go through the next prompt now. Create a professional infographic and we'll test this out. Start a new chat. The only thing I don't like about these models is like, why don't they just auto choose images, right? If we say create an image or an infographic or whatever, it should be smart enough to figure out, okay, we're generating images. That's the only thing that I don't like about these AI image models, but it is great to be able to create images. So we're going to plug this in. AYW Television says, have you tried the new Kling? Would you demo it on here? I don't really, I've created videos about Kling, but there's no demand for it. So that's why I don't really create videos about it anymore. But I used to back in the day and then I realized no one seemed to care. So I stopped creating videos about it. Mohan says, I have some generic questions. Are you able to answer? Please. Yeah, feel free. Feel free to ask. So let's see what we've got. So this is Quen. Five steps to rank number one on Google, keyword research, content creation, on-page SEO, link building, etc. Pretty nice. Then we've got Gemini, keyword research. That is a lot better, isn't it? Like just compare the outputs. So this is same prompt, but we've generated one with Gemini and one with Quent, right? If you have a look here, the text itself looks okay. The resolution doesn't look that nice, honestly. Like I think that, that can't be 4K. Whereas you look at the resolution on that and you think it's pretty nice, right? It looks good quality. And if we have a look at ChatGPT image one, I don't really like the grainy logo in the background, but it does have more information. It does look a lot more interesting than Quen. But I'm going to put, I think, because it's a little bit grainy on the background, I would say that Nana Banana came in first set. It's got a lot more information inside the infographic. So 
Test number two, Nana Banana came in first, ChatGPT Image 1.5 came in second, and Gwen came in third. Mohan, feel free to post your questions, mate, and I'll be happy. Test number one, we can see you won. All right, let's try one of the generic prompts on Quen for something less text. We're going to go inside here and we'll say a capybara wearing a suit holding the sign that says hello world. Well, one thing that is interesting is that for speed, Quen wins hands down every single time. Let's see what we got then. So this one looks good. Oh, this is a tough one. They all look pretty good, to be fair. Which one wins? If you want to do a vote inside the chat, feel free to post. Who do you think? Quen, Gemini, or Chat GPT? I think it's a draw. I think it's a draw between all of them. They all look good. Yeah, I'm going to go with a draw. Mohan says, apologies. Thanks for accepting the question in the middle of the session. If 10 experienced senior technology consultant needs to move from tech to non-tech career. It's a, listen, am I an expert in tech versus non-tech careers? Probably not the best person to ask. But if you had to ask me, I would say probably are you, if you're good at what you're doing and you've done technology for 10 years, why would you switch? Like, why not just do more of what's already working? Because you're obviously an expert. That's what I would do. I think it's always better to just, everything looks shiny and fun on the other side and the grass is always greener, but I think it's always better to do more of what you're already doing. It's the same for me, for example, like for my business, I was tempting to go off and spend all my time on TikTok, trying to master that, or for example, trying to master something like Instagram as well. But it's like, what's already working for me? YouTube is already working for me. So why don't I just double down on that and 10x that? Right? That's the way that I see things is like the lowest risk move is always doing more of what's already working. A draw is unusual. I would agree. I've never really seen that before. Tamara says they all look amazing, actually. Yeah, they do look really good. Jade says sign up after a sign. And JJ says, so wait, the conclusion is it's not better. What about a Chinese video generator that can make video last longer than 20 seconds? It's the one that exists and could run locally. Yeah, so if you check out the Air Profit Board, if you want to get like help on video generation, we actually have some workflows inside the Air Profit Board, right? So if you go to the NA10 templates here, and then you go down to video-based templates, we have a bunch of video generators, right, that you can use. So for example, like Minimax, you can actually use Minimax and then you can generate longer videos and they all work together. The other one that we have, which is pretty cool, is the NA10 Viral Reels workflow. And what that actually does is it creates multiple videos together that work together. And then these can be way longer than just like eight seconds or 30 seconds like they are. So if you want to check that out, link in the comments description to the AR Profit Water. All right, next up, we're going to do an image editing one. All right, so we're going to edit the image edit and we're going to say, okay, make the suit rainbow color. Let's make him doing a handstand. And we'll see how good it is for actually editing the image too. We'll do the same inside Gemini and chat as well. Mohan says, thanks for the input. For pressure, wants to start his or her career in current technology world, which way he needs to choose? Obviously, like the obvious option is like going into something AI related. I think a lot of people are recruiting for people with AI automation skills, particularly because there's so much value in that, right? Like the demand for AI is absolutely amazing. I think developers, people who can create apps, who can develop, etc., really powerful skill to have. What else would I say? If you're an expert in really applying all the knowledge that you learn from AI into actually creating AI business solutions, I think that's one of the best ways to do. And the reason for that is because a lot of people, they know about AI, they know they should be using AI, they understand the value of it, but they don't know how to actually implement it inside a business. That's why a lot of clients hire us to do AI automation for them. I would really look at two things. Number one, can you code? Are you a developer? If so, creating apps is massive. And with AI, you pretty much are a 10X developer if you can use it properly. And then number two, if you can't code or develop, well, are you great at saving people time and actually implementing and filtering all the crazy information, all the, all the shiny objects and everything? And can you filter that and then just actually apply it to a business, right? If you can go inside a business and be like, we're going to automate five things this week. Here's how we're going to do it. That would probably be one of the most powerful skills someone could recruit. What on earth? John says, tech at the moment produces the comments, changes everything. Reality is that consistency is a key. Nana Banana Rare 3 is an example of consistency. Quen has been consistent though. All right, so if we have a look at this, for some reason, he's got four arms now. He's the only one doing a handstand. That's the difference, I would say. I think the only one that's actually followed the prompts is this one, but he's got four arms. So I think just for following the prompts, Quen wins. But honestly, they're all pretty bad. Like that potentially could have been a draw again. So Quen wins his first round. And then I would say joint second. And yeah, or joint draw is is chat GPT image 1.5 and nano banana. Mohan says, thanks a lot. You're looking great in live session and handling nicely by sessions. The questions are always happy to help. 
So if we have a look at the five tests, we see here that you got chat GPT image one, nana banana one, there was a draw, and then there was the rainbow suit and Quinn came first on the handstand editing. Let's try one more prompt. We're going to take this one and we'll plug it into each. Let's go. And this is for a YouTube thumbnail, so you can see. Let's see what we got. So Quinn came back with something pretty basic. I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but you see how it's joined the T's at the top there? That's strange. Better than Mid Journey, free AI image tool. The reason that I'm picking prompts like these, by the way, you might be wondering, like, why am I going after these prompts? Because these are stuff like I'd actually use, right? Like, I'm not creating pictures of monkeys and capybaras doing handstands all day. And so I prefer to go with these actual prompts that do something real for my business, like a YouTube thumbnail, or for example, creating infographics, editing images. I have to edit thumbnails a lot if I'm doing a quick live stream and my team isn't around. So when I have a look at all three of these images, I'm like, okay, which one is the best? And by far, Chad GPT image 1.5 is the best, right? Let's create the nicest image out of all three of those. Look at the text. Look at the way it's like really eye grabbing and attention grabbing. Whereas this one is quite boring and super grainy as well in the resolution. And the same, the, honestly, I think Quen comes in second there because the image resolution is much better. But ChatGPT hands down wins that. So for the final test, Numero Ching, we did this prompt. ChatGPT image 1.5 came in first, which actually surprises me. Quen came in second and Nano Banana came in third. So Nano Banana doesn't win every single time. I thought it would absolutely dominate. I think ChatGPT image 1.5 has got 10 times better. John says spelling is great, real success. Always check it before someone else sees it and points it out to you. 100%. You don't want to be in that embarrassing situation. And ChatGPT image wins the most overall, right? So ChatGPT image won twice. Nano Banana won once. It was a draw for the third test. And then Quen actually won one as well. So honestly, like if you look at those results, you go, okay, Quen only won once. And then Nana Banana won once, right? And ChatGPT image is dominating, but Quen is holding its own when it comes to open source image generation. And bear in mind, you can use Quen for three as well. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get all the resources, all the links from today, you can get that inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments description. This is a community that connects you with 42,400 builders in AI. As you can see, we're posting regularly. We're creating content. We're sharing all the video notes from every single tutorial. Bear in mind, like inside this program as well, it's better than most people's paid stuff and it's completely free. And you can see here, for example, we have all these tutorials in like Gemini 3 or for example, AI Studio, right? And the depth of these guides is pretty insane. For example, look at this new Gemini notebook update. And we've just created all these step-by-step -step guides on exactly how to use this stuff, right? So if you want to get access to all of the tutorials completely free, it comes with video tutorials, plus all the video notes and prompts. You can get that inside the AI success lab. And you also get the video notes from today and all the resources. The other thing that I've done with Quen is I've actually included a 30 day plan for learning how to really build with this stuff. So how to master AI image generation in 30 days. It's giving you prompts for each day that you can test that. And then what I've also done is broken some limited beliefs that I know some people feel like intimidated by AI or struggle with it from a mindset perspective. So I've run through all the limited beliefs and like the old way and the new way and how to win with AI, right? And the final thing is that we've included 100 prompts on how to use. So for example, like this some marketing prompts, you've got prompts for infographics and data that you could test, creative and artistic prompts, etc. Now, if you are serious about AI and you want to use it to scale your business, save time, generate more leads, again, more customers, feel free to check out the AI Profit Boardroom. Link in the comments description. This is an amazing community where we hold each other accountable with a daily accountability group. You can see this post, you've got 79 comments, right? Like we are very active inside this community. It's amazing to be part of something where everyone's learning and growing together. You can also ask any questions. So if you're struggling with anything, you can ask questions to get help and support. I actually personally answer the questions as well inside the community too. And then also you can share your wins and share what you're working on and what you're struggling with and what's working for you. So for example, like Christina built her first make automation. Vladimir created some music with AI, right? Johan building white labeled voice agents, right? All sorts of cool stuff inside the AI profitable and you get access to. If you want to jump on the live coaching course, you can. We have four coaching calls per week where you can jump on the coaching calls, ask any questions live, etc. And then we also have a six week masterclass that takes you from a complete beginner to being an expert in AI, plus how to build your first AI agent in under five minutes. And you get all of my best playbooks that have helped me really scale with AI. So for example, like automating Twitter, help automating newsletters, shorts, AI avatar videos, and you'll see access
access to my best agency courses, Q and A call recordings, AI SEO automations, and YouTube AI masterclasses as well. So that's all inside the AI profit boarding. Feel free to get it. Appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.